good? Barbecue family? Guess what I got sitting here? Let me see if it's... Anyway, we're gonna open it together. Stay tuned. Hola, amigos and amigas. It's your boy, Mr. Lee from Backyard Barbecue. Um, if you know Spanish, hit me up. I'm trying to learn. Um, my significant other um, don't know no Spanish. Ain't that something? You got Spanish blood in you, but don't know Spanish. Mm. Anyway, uh, hit me up. I'm trying to learn some Spanish. Maybe we can uh, uh, help each other out. Let's see here, what are we doing today? Let me show you this box, we about to get to it. We about to replace some stuff on my char griller. So, my 9 So stay tuned, I'm gonna fast forward this video as I'm opening the box, cause don't nobody want to see me opening the box, but I'll slow down in the video so that when it's fast forward, you actually see the items. And then I'll actually record it live while I'm actually installing it. And hopefully, hopefully, it seeks in properly, no issues. And uh, I can get this to fit properly. Let me show you this real quick. Hopefully I can get, I can get rid of this. And I don't know if you can see my little curve or not. It doesn't, matter of fact, let me just show you real quick. Y'all see all my gadgets over here. Oh, uh, here we go. Got aluminum foil on that. You see this? It won't go down properly. And that's because one of the, uh, yeah, it's warped in, in the inside. So hopefully this new charcoal, um, charcoal shoot, I think that's the name of it, charcoal shoot, fixes it. And they uh, sent me some stones just cause the, uh, the stones on the inside, the bricks are uh, cracked. So, hey man, they warranty is outstanding, man. I am not gonna lie. I was surprised by Char Driller just cause I, in the beginning when I started with the old school, you know, with the, with the uh, fire, fire uh, basket on the side, Started with that. I was probably probably heating up the air more than I was cooking food, but I started there and uh and graduated and they graduated with me from being uh okay grill that lasts maybe one to three years outside to products like this, gravity fed, I always wanted one, but uh the big stumps of the world um uh, just cost two doggone much um for a small cooking space. But this one, I think I got it for five ninety nine and now it's like eight hundred dollars, which is crazy. Society's crazy with this spending. Um, but anyway, stay tuned. We're finna get to it, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. cracking as you can see when I was putting it in. Uh, I am about to attempt to stick it in. Let's see if it uh bam flush. Get rid of this. Easy peasy. Perfect. Now 
As you can see, I don't actually let me get my drill. Let me show you real quick. So here's what I did. This is adjustable. This bracket here. Depending on how much torque you want to put on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it. Because remember it wasn't closed before. I'm gonna take it and then readjust it. This is why you should do a video on where it goes. I believe it's one screw, but we're going to find out. Uh, part of me is I get right in front of you real quick. So uh, screw this in. Right in the middle one. Nope. All right, y'all. Unfortunately, I can't figure this out. But. What I will do is add more gasket to make it uh, fit snug on there. The beauty of keeping stuff around, right? Yep. Too easy. And this is, actually I'll put the link in the description below on this gasket I'm using. So if you have one of these, you can, uh, do the same thing. I even got some, uh, I believe it's J.D. Wilder uh, over here. I'll show you that real quick. Uh, yep, right here. New in the bag. Yep, J.D. Well does the same thing. Instead of using a gasket, you can do the sealer. Uh, it's just something about me and Pete being exposed to uh, you know, different things, you know, outside of like, you know, with chemicals in it. Yup. So you put some on the side and I'm good to go. So, yeah. I will do the same thing, just measure the outside, put a gasket on them, and let it do what it do. This is pretty easy, y'all. Standard stuff. Um, hey, just to reiterate something, I know a lot of people say, say, why the, like, I can edit this and be politically correct, but why? I started this just for, uh, for us that make mistakes, nobody's perfect, but most of the people I see on, on there, they edit their videos so perfect, nothing against them, they still put out quality information, but they edit it so, you know, so that, you know, everybody's an expert. The reality of it is, is everybody has something to give in the barbecue world, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm doing this strict, strictly for the El Bacos. What I mean is the El Backyard Barbecue. I'm not doing this for the people who think they know everything. Uh, I'm doing this out of sheer fun. I honestly don't care if anybody looks at it. I'm doing it just because I'm bored. Um, and I'm grateful to provide, you know, an outlet. Thanks, YouTube. An outlet to uh, just continue to do what I love to do without being... I guess you could say without being judged. So it's all good, either way. Um, with that being said, I will probably do another video about how I got to where I am. Um, I think somebody commented below to ask, you know, just out of curiosity, long-term uh, fan, uh, they actually waited almost three years for me to come back. That's crazy. I, I, I appreciate you, I applaud you. Um, and I might just do that. 
to a certain degree. I'm not going to talk about everything just because life happened. But, um, yeah, I might just do that. Talk about um, how I got here and what the future holds for me. Um, and we'll go from there. Man, that's perfect right now. Oh, uh, this is the last I have of this too. So hopefully this is the last time I have to uh, do anything with this. And just to reiterate, y'all, the um, the warranty on these things, man, outstanding. I had to call them a couple times, and it was just wear and tear. Nothing, nothing that would scare you off from, you know, from buying one. Because I would buy one in a heartbeat. This thing here is the truth. Um, I would, if I had to rank it against all my other grills, I rank it number two. Uh, number two being that can't nothing beat the dog on um, ceramic grills. That dog on Kamado ad, you know, didn't have enough money to buy a big green egg because, um, there you go. Big green egg, y'all just too doggone expensive for us broke folk. So, uh, uh, needless to say, I'm probably gonna still use it. Needless to say, uh, I went with the uh, Kamado, I think the Vision, Vincent, Vincent model, and uh, it worked perfectly for me. Uh, it probably, I probably make my best food on that. And uh, I highly recommend you get one of those. I believe it's Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, oh yeah, more fresh right there. Um, that thing hands down, when you talk about the first time I cooked on it, go back and look at my video, first time I cooking on that. Um, and just look, actually, I, I'm gonna post the link in the description below so you have a quick quick link to go back to it. I want you to just see how long it, it, it went, uh, just cooking. What are you cooking and just testing it out and seeing how long it'll last. Oh, perfect. Uh, and there you have it. Anyway, I'm gonna post a link in the description. I'm not gonna keep y'all. I know this video probably 15, 20 minutes. Um, but I just want y'all to, y'all living my life just like I am. I'm um, showing y'all everything that goes on, even the errors on my part. Appreciate Char Grilla for uh, sending me that part fit perfect in there. Of course, I need a new top now. Um, I need to reach out to him and see how much that costs. Um, just because I had to force this down, I'll reach out to him, see if I can get a new one in. And this is maybe one, two, four screws. And this whole thing comes off, new one goes on, four screws, and it's good. Um, so like, once again, like I said, thanks to Char Driller um, and the support they have given me. Um, the part was in, within a day or two, I got a tracking number, and bam, it's here today. So I appreciate that. Just in time for the 4th of July, we're gonna do a cook, do a ribs, burgers, and whatever, whatever uh, my uh, compadres bring over. So it's gonna get down and greasy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna record because I don't know if they wanna be on camera, but stay tuned. I might just do little little skits here and there, just record my video and then I'll commentate later, y'all. So stay tuned, God bless you. Um, I'll see you on the next video, y'all.